Welcome back to the Team to Beat Miami Heat basketball podcast. Thank you for listening to the podcast on Apple and Spotify. Thank you for watching on YouTube. If you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and share, and subscribe to the channel. So thank you so much. So in today's episode, I want to talk about a report that came out. Uh, Zach Lowe of ESPN uh, was talking about Donovan Mitchell and how the trade rumors are heating up that he could potentially opt out of his player option next season and possibly request a trade. And he mentioned multiple teams are interested and are interested in putting together a package. And one of the teams, of course, that he mentioned was the Miami Heat. So he said, Miami is a team you need to watch out for. Miami to me is the other team to watch. They're always hunting around. They've been connected with Mitchell over the years. They're lurking, and they have a lot of stuff to offer in terms of picks and young players. So basically, he is saying that the Dame package, which is Jaime um, Hawkes, which is Nikola Jovic, which is Tyler Hero, are good pieces and good assets, essentially, which people said last season that the Miami Heat had no assets and those guys weren't good um, enough for a trade for Damian Lillard. We saw how well Jaime Hawkes did as a rookie in his first season in the NBA. He was, he finished first team, all rookie team and he had his ups and downs, but he was still a top five rookie after being drafted 18th overall, which is huge. And then Nikola Jovic started, I think 50 or so games this season after only playing 15 in his rookie year last year. And he proved to be a wonderful point forward type of player um really good at rebounding really good uh on the break and transition and really good at threes he shot over 40 percent. so um he was a stretch four uh next to bam out of bio and you know too bad we were robbed of seeing tyler hero in that rotation duncan robinson at the end of the season with his injuries terry rogier getting hurt so it was rough for the miami heat in terms of the uh regular season slash playoffs but Nonetheless, Nikola Jovic stepped up and showed that he can be a true asset and rotational player in the NBA for this Miami Heat team, and he has a really high ceiling. And Miami Heat have two first-round picks that they can offer for Donovan Mitchell, so it's a good blend of up-and-coming talented players. We have Tyler Hero, who's a former sixth man of the year, 20-point scorer in the league, and two young assets, wing player and a power forward. So. Those are some good pieces that the Miami Heat can offer for Donovan Mitchell. And Zach Lowe of ESPN thinks that it's a good package. Miami Heat, they should be the ones to watch, to worry about. And he thinks that obviously the Miami Heat will be a big time contender if you pair Jimmy, Bam, and Donovan together. Um, I think it makes sense. And this is going to be hopefully an exciting offseason. I just want to make sure that this doesn't linger like it did last season with Damian or Damian. Yeah, with Damian Lillard, excuse me. Um, that was heartbreaking because it was three months of speculation and rumors, and we ended up not getting Damian Lillard. Obviously, he went to the Bucks. So I'm hoping this Mitchell um, saga doesn't last the entire summer. Hopefully, if we get him, we can get him all in the next, you know, six weeks or so once the playoffs are over, obviously in June. Hopefully, like by July, we can we can get him and not have to wait until September or so. Um, and also, if we don't get him, I just want to rip off that band aid immediately and hope he signs that extension with the Cavs. Um, so we know that he's not going to be requesting a trade. So we'll see what happens. But either way, Zach Lowe thinks the Miami Heat are a team to watch. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I hope you guys have a good one. Thanks.